Many Christians are used to gossiping about others, some even justify it by calling it holy gossip, without knowing the spiritual implications of gossiping, slander and backbiting. This animation movie shares a deep revelation of the way gossip affects Christians who gossip, spiritually and consequently, physically. Please pay attention, watch till the end and repent if you are involved in gossiping. Hey Josephine, such a surprise. Do you live around here? I didn't expect that I'd see you. Hi Odette. Good to see you too. I don't live around here, I just came to see a friend around here. I'm surprised to see you here as well. I came in company of blessing, she came to fix her laptop in the repair shop across the road. I just decided to take a walk around to while away time, before she's done. Alright then. But who did you come here to see? I'm really surprised to see you here, it's a far distance from town. I also responded to that, I said I came to see a friend. Hey Josephine, I'm done, we can be on our way now. I'd be with you shortly, please give me a moment. Alright. Oh I see, that is the friend you came to see. Have a nice day Odette, we'd see in church. Alright, bye. Odette, you're back, you took a really long stroll. I was already wondering if you had not been kidnapped. <laughs> Silly you, I won't be kidnapped in Jesus' name. I'm in. Are you done with your laptop repair? It's getting late, we have to leave here before it's dark, you know it's a long distance from town. Yes I'm done, I was only waiting for you to return, so we could be on our way. Okay, good, let's go catch the next train immediately. Alright. Guess who I saw when I took that stroll while you were at the repair shop? You know I'm bad at guessing, you tell me. Okay, I saw Josephine. Josephine, which Josephine? Josephine in the church choir. That's a surprise. I didn't expect that we could meet anyone in that place, it's so far. I was surprised as well. What was she doing there? Same question I asked her. She said, she came to see a friend. She apparently didn't want to disclose what friend, but while we were talking, the friend shows up. It was a guy. Wow, she went all that way to see a guy. That girl is a public dog. You needed to have seen the guy, he wore earrings had tattoos, and looked so worldly. Yet she'd come to church on Sunday to lead songs in the choir. Public dog indeed. Her character disgusts me. Imagine, what was she doing in that far place with a guy? I know she thought no one from church would see her. Exactly. And it's annoying how people love her in church. I guess because she has a beautiful singing voice. Please don't say that again. Her voice is horrible, and that's not even my business, but she apparently is sleeping around. No one can tell me that she is not sleeping with that guy the first saw her with today, you needed to have seen how they were looking at each other so lustfully. That's so bad. She had better be careful before she gets pregnant or gets a disease. That will be to her own shame, at least if that happens everyone will know that she is not a saint. Exactly. Enough of Josephine's gist. Will you be attending the prayer band vigil on Friday? Of course. I can't miss it for anything. The prayers are always so powerful. You will be coming too, right? Sure. We can leave together. No problems at all with that. Josephine, thank you for taking time to come all the way with your church's evangelism leader to visit me today. It made me more strengthened in my newly found faith in Christ. I'm sorry I put that distress call across to you last night, I thought I was going to die, I just wanted to take my life. I was overjoyed when I saw you today. It's my pleasure Richie. You sounded so distressed, I knew I couldn't handle it alone, that was why I pleaded with our evangelism secretary at church and I was glad he obliged. You should begin attending church like he said. That is how you will grow, if not the devil will keep on harassing you. I will find a church around here. I'd have been so glad to be attending your church as you are the one who led me to Christ, but for the distance. Yeah, this place is really far from town. Just and sure, it's a Bible-believing church, where the truth of God's word is practiced. Take your walk with Jesus, one step at a time, His Holy Spirit will begin to lead and guide you. Make sure you obey always. I will, by God's grace. I need to join the evangelism secretary at the car park now, so we can be on our way back to town. Take care of yourself, Richie. I won't stop praying for you and won't stop keeping in touch. Thank you, Josephine. I truly appreciate that. You're welcome. 
by by Josephine. Oh my God, what sort of nightmare is this? In the name of Jesus, I take authority over these forces that keep chasing me in the dream at night in Jesus' name. I plead the blood of Jesus against you. I stand on the authority of God's word and dislodge your activities in my life in Jesus' name. Catch fire now in Jesus' name. But why do I keep having these endless nightmares despite being so prayerful? I'm a faithful member of the church prayer band department. This cannot keep happening to me. Church was so hot today. I wonder what happened to the air conditioners pastor said will be installed soon. Well, he has been saying that for the longest time. Are you sure the money hasn't been diverted into other personal things? What? How do you mean? I mean, don't you see all the expensive things pastor's wife has been wearing recently? Even the children all look like they upgraded their wardrobes. I also noticed pastor is now driving a new car, brand new one for that matter. Do you know, I also observed these things, I just said I shouldn't talk about it, so I don't look like a bad person. God will definitely judge them. Amen. Did you see the church notice board today? No I didn't. What happened? Brother Reuben will be getting married. Wow. To who? I'm so happy for him. Well, I'm happy for him kind of too, but see how he went to go and pick a sister from outside the country to marry, after he had dated different ladies in the church and broke their hearts. You don't mean it. I don't know about that part of the story though. He looks so gentle. How did you know? Leave that to me. I fear you Odette. You know about everybody in that church. Please, let me be. I am only a very vigilant person. I applaud that. How is Ethan your fiancé though? My sister, I truly don't understand him. He has been behaving strangely towards me lately and at this point I really don't care. If he wants to break up with me, he can go ahead and do it fast already. I have developed a tough skin at this point, for men and their drama. Don't talk that way Odette. If he breaks up with you, this will be the fourth failed relationship you'd be having in the last two years. Are you not noticing the evil pattern? I actually have and it's tiring, that's why I talk that way. I don't even know why this is happening to me, despite being so prayerful, every midnight, I am praying and blasting in tongues, yet my relationships break mysteriously. I understand your plight, I felt that frustration just last night. Every single night, I have terrible nightmares, despite being so prayerful, I mean, we are faithful members of the church prayer band as well, why are all these things befallen us? It's frustrating. Yes it is. That walk to the bus stop after service was so tiring, I need to take a Sunday afternoon nap after lunch. I'm tired of running, please stop chasing me. What do you want from me? No no no. <laughs> an angel, wow. How will an angel be standing close by and a demon is harassing me? Is he not supposed to fight my battles and rescue me? Angel, please rescue me from this monster, please. Unfortunately blessing, as much as I have been sent by God to fight your battles and rescue you, I am not able to do that. But why, didn't the Bible say that you are a ministering spirit, sent to minister to me as a heir of salvation? I am saved, born again and tongue talking. I am also a devoted member of the prayer band at church and personally, I am always fasting and praying. Yes you do all these things, but there's something that has soiled your garment and is a hindrance to me fighting your battles. Wow, what is that? Gossip. You and your friend Odette are always gossiping about everyone. With your tongue, you slander, malign people and backbite and gossip about people and with the same tongue you pray to God, can both fresh and salt water flow from the same spring? It's not possible. Every prayer you pray is cancelled each time you gossip about people. This is why your prayers seem not to be answered. This also is why though you pray a lot, demons find it easy to attack and harass you. Gossiping, backbiting and slander puts a leakage in your altar, such that every power you generate, leaks away as you loquaciously gossip and slander people. You lose your authority in the spirit realm and demons prey on you as they wish even though you speak in tongues. This is a shock to me. But why would gossiping open me up to demonic attacks, am I not saved and the blood of Christ should speak for me? Yes you are saved, but besides that those you gossip about are hurt by the scourge of your tongue, gossiping about others is total disobedience to God. Scriptures such as Ephesians chapter 4 verse 29 warns, 
Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen. Now I would ask you, is gossiping about others in any way wholesome or helpful? Does it build them up and does it benefit those who listen? No. There are many instructions in scriptures on the right way to use your tongue but you are walking in disobedience, and any Christian who walks in disobedience to God is easy prey to Satan and his demons, because according to the book of James 4 verse 7, only those who are submitted to God can resist the devil and he will flee. If you are not submitted to God in obedience to scriptural instructions, the devil can't flee when you resist him, instead he would deal with you. A Christian living in disobedience to God also cannot enjoy the ministry of angels. This is why I can't fight your battles. Oh my. Oh my God, what a revelation. Oh dear Lord, thank you for mercy. It is in your mercy that you have revealed this to me. Today Lord, I repent of gossip, backbiting and slander. Forgive me Lord for engaging in them. I promise to turn a new leaf from now on. Please help me desist totally from this way of life. Thank you because I know you hear me and you have answered me. I need to call Odette immediately and let her know about this dream. Hey Odette. Hello Blessing. Are you already missing me so soon? We just parted about an hour ago. There's something I need to tell you urgently Odette. This was why I called. Really? Okay shoot. Wow, that's a deep revelation. Exactly. I repented immediately and asked God for mercy. I called you as soon as I did to share it with you. Okay. That why? What do you mean why Odette? You and I are always gossiping together, this concerns you as well. It doesn't concern me please. You are the one the angel called a gossip. I don't gossip, I just say things as they are. But they are other people's matters. They don't edify and build up nor help in any way and they are unwholesome. We both need to repent. I disagree please. Alright then, but please bear in mind that I won't be having those kinds of discussions with you anymore. Whatever. Hey Blessing, I wasn't sure if you were still home, I just thought to still check. Are you set? Let's be on our way to church for prayer meeting. Thank you Odette. Yes I'm set, we can be on our way now. I think we came out too early. I see that the next train arrives in 20 minutes. I think we are in order. I'd rather walk into the train than run to catch up with it. Makes sense though. That reminds me, did you see Ashley on Sunday in church? Yes I did. You didn't notice anything. Anything like. Ashley is pregnant. Oh my god. For who? How am I supposed to know? I wonder if she can tell who the father is. That girl sleeps with almost all the guys in church. She is not only pregnant even, she has HIV. Oh my god. Wait Odette. Didn't I say that I would not engage in gossips with you again? You just made me do what I have repented of. This is not gossip. It's statement of fact, she is truly pregnant and has HIV. I don't care about that. Have you looked inwards? You keep having men jilt you back to back, why not focus on your own problems? Haven't you given it thought that the devil is able to manipulate these unpleasant breakups in your life despite how much you fast and pray, because you lose authority in the spirit realm by gossiping? Please repent Odette, else I can't be your friend anymore. I have to obey God and if you keep dragging me back to the mud, sorry I can't walk with you. Your life, your choice. You can walk away, and thank you for insulting me with all the breakups I have been having. I wasn't insulting you Odette, I just wanted to make you see how gossiping affects spiritually. The devil could harass me with nightmares too, until I repented and stopped gossiping. Since that day God revealed it to me in that dream and I repented, the nightmares vanished. Congratulations to you then. If you wouldn't listen, I'm sorry, I have to be on my way now. We can be friends again if we won't be gossipers, backbiters and slanderers. Oh God please forgive me for getting carried away and gossiping with Odette again this evening. I'm sorry Lord, please give me grace, I dissociate from her from today if she wouldn't repent and I'd please you in all areas of my life. Thank you for watching this movie to the end. I trust it has blessed you. Kindly share with me in the comments the lessons you have learned from today's movie or any experience you'd like to share that buttresses the revelation in this movie. Give this video a thumbs up if it has blessed you, and sure to share with others as well. Please subscribe to our channel and turn on notification bell, to stay updated on our contents. God bless you.